Hello and welcome to today's Ticket Source webinar. Now today we're going to give you a bit of a walkthrough and show you how to set up a general admission event on our system and show you how quick and easy it is to get up and running with your first event online. Now just to show you what we're going to be ending up with, here's an example of a stand-up comedy night which we're going to be setting up in a moment. So here we can see we've got our event title, description, a nice image and a simple book now button for customers to go and book online. On here then we've got a couple of price options and add on concession to offer different prices for your event. Okay, so to get started then, what we need to do is to go onto our website and you'll see the option at the top of the page then to create your event. Now to get started then, what it's gonna ask you to do is to pop in your email address. So I'm just gonna paste mine into there and click on the create event button to get started. This is going to take you into what we call our event organizer dashboard. Now you'll see the option with a quick start guide or tour to show up, but for now I'm just going to close this and show you around the system myself. So to get started with your first event, all we need to do is go to the events menu at the top center of the page and click new event on the drop down that you see there. We'll then be prompted to start entering some information about, about the event. So to start with, then we're going to put in your event name. For my purposes, this is going to be a stand-up comedy night. Underneath them, we have the option to assign it a category and a genre. So if you click on the drop down, you'll see there's a variety of different categories. So hopefully something will uh, match your needs on there. Uh, for my event, I'm going to pop in the comedy as the category. And within there, the genre is going to then be live stand-up. Underneath, we have the option to put in the event description. So a couple of paragraphs about what to expect from the event, your kind of promotional uh, material to tell people what to expect from the performance. I'm just going to paste in some example text into here, which just tells you a little bit about who the stand-up comedians are and what to expect on the night. Okay. Now, if we scroll down, you'll see there are various different settings on this page. I'm just going to show you some of the mainly used ones, the kind of essential ones to get up and running. We'll cover some more topics and go through the more advanced settings in a later webinar session. So to scroll down, you'll see the option that we can have two different images associated with this event. Firstly, we have an event poster. This is a kind of portrait style poster that shows next to the event uh, description. Uh, this is suitable to put all the information on your event, so having text uh, on it. Underneath them we have a thumbnail image. This is going to be a smaller image that shows next to your event listing. So just a, a summarized um, event description with no text on there would be suitable. So to upload your image, all you need to do is click on the plus icon on the image option. That will then browse your device to find some suitable images. You'll see here that I've got two images, a post image. So if I double click on that, that uploads it onto the system. We've got the ability to zoom in or out of the image to make sure that it forms nicely in the presentation box. Uh, you've also got the option to click and drag to adjust that interview to make sure it sits nicely. If I do the same then for the thumbnail image and just upload that second image in there, this is a simplified version without text, as I said before. Okay. Um, scrolling down, there's only two other areas on this page that I would uh, like to show you, but feel free to browse all of the other settings that are available to you. Um, I'm going to expand here the advanced settings, and we'll see that we've got some more options. Now, the two areas I want to show you in here is the event information to accompany the booking confirmation. Now, this is a tool to show some additional information that shows up to the customer after they've made their purchase. So this is a great tool to put in some useful information about how to get to the venue, uh, what to expect on arrival, or just a link to your FAQs uh, page on your website. So I'm just going to grab some text to pop in there to show as an example. And here I'm just saying information about uh, transport links to the venue, uh, information about buying a pre-show meal, and that link that I mentioned to our FAQs on the website. And then lastly on this page, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see the option to add in terms and conditions to the event. Now, this isn't essential. We have standard terms and conditions already built into the system, but you might want to make the customer aware of something before they complete the purchase. Now, for my example, because it's a stand-up comedy event, I want to just say that it's not quite suitable for children under the age of 16 years and that no photography or recording is permitted during the performance. But you can put in anything you want. The customer has to agree to these T's and C's before they go through then to complete the purchase. Okay, once you're happy at the bottom of each of the pages then we've got a save changes button. We can always come back into these areas later to modify our event. So nothing set in stone if you need to adjust things at a later stage. So this takes us then into our event designer and we're gonna be prompted then through the remainder of the information 
before we can go live with our event. Now, the next stage then is to add a new venue. So this is very straightforward, just popping in the address of the venue location. Um, if the event has been listed on our platform before, then you'll see that matches to that venue show up on the drop down. So you can select that on there. If it doesn't show up, then just feel free to put in the full address into there into each of the necessary fields. Once you put in the postcode, then you'll see that we have integration with Google Maps. So you have a nice map so people know how to get there. You'll see the red pin will drop on the postcode area. But if you need to make it more specific and actually say where the event is taking place, just click and drag the pin into the correct location. Okay. Underneath, then you have the option to put in a telephone number and email address. If you do offer a box office service that customers can book with you directly, feel free to put in your contact details there. Or if you're looking to just offer online ticket sales only, then just leave that blank. That's absolutely fine. Again, at the bottom of the page, click on the save changes. We're back to the previous stage of the event designer. Now then we're going to add in a new date. So clicking on here. At the top of the page, then we've got the option to select which date the event is taking place. My event's going to be taking place on the 2nd of July. And then next door is a time of the performance. So mine is in a 7.30 p.m. performance. So just pop in the relevant time that it starts. There are some optional times here to put in things like doors open, if you have that applicable. Uh, for mine, I'm going to say that it starts at 7 p.m. Um, and you've also got the option to put in an ending time. So if you know when it's going to finish, then feel free to pop in, but it's not essential. Underneath then we have uh, when the event is going to go on sale. So if you want to go on sale straight away, just leave it as default, but you might want to set your event to be visible to the public, but bookable on Friday at 10 a.m., for example. So feel free to pop that in and your event will say coming soon. You'll be able to publicize the event before it actually goes on sale. And last thing on this page is when tickets go off sale, we default to one hour before the event. But if you want to take it off sale before or right up until the start time, feel free to adjust that as you need to. Uh, on here, then we've got the ticket allocation option. So we have the ability to set seating uh, events up with a seating plan linked to them. Um, for today's purpose, we're just going to do a simple general admission event. So just save your changes at this stage to make it a general admission event. On the next stage, then adding a new section, this is going to be the capacity of the event. So how many tickets you want to sell. Uh, my venue can have 100 capacity. So I'm just going to type in the amount of tickets I want to sell. Um, you can pop in any number in there. And you can also adjust this at a later stage. So if you need to adjust capacities, it's really flexible to be able to sell the number of tickets that you want to. And then the final stage on here, we're going to add a new price category. So if I go into here, first of all, I'm going to pop in an adult uh, price category and I'm going to put in the price of this ticket, which would be £10. And this is a very simple price. So I'm going to ignore the other settings and just save my changes. There's a simple adult at £10. Now, I'd like to add in another price on here. So you'll see once I've added my first price, the ability to add a new price category again. And on here, then we are going to pop in a concession ticket. So that's a description. And the price is going to be slightly reduced to eight pounds. And there is a, a certain group of people that I want to qualify for the concession. So here I've got children between 16 to 17 years, senior citizen, disabled and students. This will show as a nice little subtext to the concession option so people know if they qualify for that concession or not. Once you're happy then, clicking on the save changes and that will take us back to the event designer. Now, just hidden up behind the camera there, you'll see that now we've got everything that we uh, need to now activate this event. So feel free to hit the orange button to activate the event. There are two more things that we need to do before we can finally go live. Firstly, we need to confirm our activation email. So if you check your inbox now, you'll re receive an activation email. I'm just going to grab this onto the screen now to show you. And when you click on that link, you'll be taken to set up your password. So I'm just going to enter my password into here. And then click on the set password and that will activate your event to know that you've got access to that email address. Okay, back on uh, my dashboard then. And the final stage then is to complete the account settings. So this is just to put some information about you and your organization or event. So here it's going to prompt me then for uh, my first name, last name and telephone number. This is information. So um, we have some details on file. This is not presented to the customer for your reference. The organization is presented to the customer. This is the, uh, the name that you'll be known as as part of your event. So for my purpose, I'm going to pop in then Ticket Source Theatre and Art Centre. 
and then it's going to ask you what type of organization you are whether you're a, an independent promoter or a business just find something relevant on that list there are some optional fields that we'll come on to on a later session putting in descriptions of your event uh, registered charity number you can get a discount on our booking fees uh, we just need to complete our address into there there are some tools to put in your web url uh, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. That gives some links on your booking pages for the customer to be able to find your event at a later stage. Okay. Now down here you'll see that the system will assign a ticket source URL. This is going to be your home link on our website and we'll show you that in a moment. And then lastly scroll to the bottom of the page and click save changes. Okay. What you'll see now is that you're prompted to say congratulations our account is now live. We've got everything we've needed. So technically this event is now on sale online all up and running all done but to show you a couple of things just before we end today's session uh, to go to your home screen on your dashboard you'll see there is a handy house icon on the top left of the screen now this takes you to the event organizer dashboard home screen you'll see there are some book now buttons to make in-house bookings and we'll cover that on a later session but at the top center of the page you'll see your ticket shop url which is what we assigned in our account settings now if i click on this link this will take us to the public booking pages and we'll see the example of the event that we saw right at the beginning of the session so if i click on this event title for example that would take us into the event description we've got the map location we have the event description we have our poster image we have our thumbnail image that we set up in the event and the customers are quite welcome to go through and book tickets for the event so you'll see here are two different price categories and the next stage they will select how many tickets they want to go through the purchase path as standard they'll get email confirmations when the booking has gone through and you'll have access to uh, see a live dashboard at any time to see your live sales. I hope today's session was useful and um, helped you uh, get up and running with your first general admission event. Uh, keep an eye out for some future webinar sessions that we're going to be doing to show you some other areas of the system. And do remember that we've always got our knowledge base, um, which you can find on our website to ask any questions on the system. We also offer a free support service, so feel free to get in touch via email or you can call us or we've even got online chat on our website. So if you do have any questions, feel free to get in touch with our support team. We'd be happy to help. Anyway, thank you for your time today and hope you enjoyed the session.